Oh yeah, son. It is correct. You make the call. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crabs. Alrighty, boys and girls, welcome back. Today, me and Uncle Trent have got the new boat, which is now named Mud Guts. Have a look at this, we got the wrap on her. She's beautiful. But today, we are crabbing and fishing, and we are not gonna have a beer until we boat a fish. So this could suck, or could be pretty good. <laughs> I don't know happens. how I feel about this, mate. I really don't. But hey, we'll give it a red hot go. Yeah. Not a game, we don't play by these rules, but today we are. So wish us luck, or it's gonna be boring as batshit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Righto, pot location number one. What do you think about this spot here, mate? In the little... No, yeah. Yeah, around here. Yep. Number one is loaded up with largemouth nanagai. We're emptying out the bait freezer. So this is all gonna be frames and shit we've caught. Right there. Fire at will. Look at that. They don't call me the Black River Sniper for nothing. <laughs> Good shot. Shooting tax. We got some coral trout in number two pot. It's looking good. I'm going to bang it over here somewhere. Five and a half metres of water. You wouldn't think that. We are starting on low tide, so we know we can get back to our pots. Yeah, dumping here, mate. That looks good. Bombs away. Nice. I'd live there if I was a crab. But right, pot number three's bait is my favorite eating fish of all time, finger mark. I reckon they're number one. What do you reckon? What's your favorite fish? Jack. Jack? I like chewing on a jack. Well, they're related. Yeah. Bombs away. Bombs away. Fire it, Will. Bombs away. Next pot is a bit of a mixed bag. There's some trouties and all sorts of stuff. Yep. Looks good to me, mate. Bombs away. I'm actually pretty excited to do some fishing. I do want a beer right now, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but rules are rules, we'll try and stick to it. <coughs> not gonna promise anything, but we're gonna give it a go. Perfect example of why you put your pots in at low tide. You gotta keep them in the water. There's heaps out here that are sitting high and dry. But anyway, I'm not allowed to touch them, not allowed to drag them back in. Righto, we ended up putting one out the front, or we're about to, right here. Because tide's coming in soon, we're, we're thinking this is going to be the road the crabs will take to get back in the mangroves. That's the theory anyway. I'm tipping they're going to get pushed up there. Yeah. Bombs away. Nice. Makes sense in my head, mate. That's in my head too. Whether it works or not is another. Right, one more up the creek. Righto. Lucky last. Yeah, anywhere here, mate, looks pretty good to me. Good luck! Bombs away. That'll do, donkey. Uh -oh. Now we can go fishing, and then we can have a beer, as long as we catch something. So, if you catch a fish, you get to have a beer. Oh, we're going to play that. Can I have a beer if you catch a fish? No. You're an asshole. Because I'm one up on you. I've got a better run than you. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm fishing too. So if I catch a beer, you can't. Oh, you if catch I... a beer. <laughs> if I catch a fish, no beer for you unless you catch a fish. Yeah, right. I'm cutting your line, bud. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well... <laughs> This let's, sucks so bad. Let's fucking get into it because I want one. Yeah, this <laughs> sucks so bad. <laughs> oh, this 
this is how you catch fish or this is how we are going to learn how to catch fish because <laughs> we really like drinking beers in the boat you know how bad it's going to be if I catch like a stonking fish and I'll get that cold beer and you've got to sit there and watch me I've got to I've got to trick up my sleeve Alrighty, a little update for you. So absolutely nothing has happened. We've flicked lures about 15,824 casts. And Trent got a bump, but nothing boated. We're getting very dehydrated over here. It's going to be a safety concern, which I believe is a get out of jail free card. If you are, you know, a risk. Fish. Well, if you're at risk of oh. dehydrating, we live in North Queensland. So, yep, there is rules to the game, but you're if safety, no, if safety comes into it, I think we can. We'll see what happens. So we're going to keep trying. But we're going to go home early. Yeah, we, I'm just. To be quite honest with you, I'm not having as much fun as I usually do fishing. And yeah, I don't know how people do it. I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah. So we're gonna have a flick in around this shit. I've seen a couple of things on the sounder, but I still don't really know how to use that. So we got all the gear and no idea. We'll just do it old school. See nice sticks, throw shiny things. See what happens. <laughs> I love how that's built. It's so true. See, lure fishing is for blokes who don't drink. Live bait fishing is for people like us. Cheers. Here's your coke, mate. Great. We're in the running for un-Australian of the year. What a stupid idea, was this? Yours. The time is 11.25. We still haven't boated a fish. We're tonguing for a frothy. So it's time to pull out the big guns. This is the stupidest game we've ever attempted to play. It's safe to say this will be the last time we do that stupid can't have a beer till you boat a fish reel. That's ridiculous. But we'll do it today. We said we were going to do it, so we will boat a fish. And we honestly, swear to God, have not had a beer yet. And it's lunchtime, nearly. I'm sorry. Yeah, and we got the shits. Like, we're like, let's just go. But we'll just, we'll, we're gonna do it, so let's do it. Oh shit, we're having a beer. Two mullet, that's two beers. Are we playing as a team or do I have to catch my own? No, we're playing as a team now, desperate. Yeah, all right. We're desperate. That's two mullet in there, evidence? Yep. That's two fish in the boat. Landed. Nice work, bro. We're safe. Cheers. Ooh. Well deserved. Oh. Stop it. Should have had a four hours ago. Oh, better now. I feel good. Now we're all relaxed and happy and hydrated, hydrated again. It's time to check some crab pots. Let's go. Feel heavy, mate? It does, actually. Oh, Louise. Ah. Oh, Louise. Bugger. Plenty of crab. No, good ones. Oh, well. Seven more to go. Yeah, is that one feeling, mate? There's some weight to it, mate, but it's hard to tell, eh? Oh, yeah, that looks a bit better. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. Big rusty buck. Oh, he's cranky, too. We'll sort them out and give them a measure. Best thing we've bought to date, I reckon. Stop, stop.
They're all too little. Only just. Is that it? Yep. I thought we had one in there. Pot number three. You love horsepower, baby. We put all our faith in this edge, all the way to the mouth. So we haven't ever crabbed this side of the creek before. We've always done on that side. And usually done pretty well, but not off to the best start today. None from two. None from three. Bugger. Lots of crab. Yeah, they're just too small. None worth measuring, eh? Yeah. All too small, bro. No, well. Number four. Your dirty little front door. Come on, baby. Oh, I would have to be close. That, yep. Have to be close all day. Barnacle Bob. Yeah. We'll have to drop him in the bucket. Hello, big boy. Alright, uh, you want to come out, Bob? You gotta let go of the bucket, mate. There you go. You now drive on. Bob's approves of the... Yep, he digs it. Uh-huh. All day, son. Let me do the honest for you. You coming home, buddy? And they can go home. Number five. Oh. Good numbers again. One possibility. Yeah. Up the back here. Yep. He looks good from where I'm standing. And he's got barnacles too. That's the thing with them down here, eh? Yeah, those two can go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sweet. Yep, I can go home. For those of you wondering, both those pots with the keeper crabs had nanagai in them as bait. Just in case you wanted to know. Too little? Too little. Bugger! Only two crabs. Yeah. Hardly any bait left. Yep. A bit sus, hey? It is a bit sus. There's about 589 crab pots in this creek today, and it's Friday. We thought, you know, people should be at work, but it is school holidays. But anyway. Two crabs, that's good enough for a feed. Any more's a bonus from here. Second lucky last. Left hand down. Beautiful captain. I like this spot. See you, mate. 
I do. Looks crabby. Oh yeah. Another five. Any good ones? I think one's worth measuring. That fella at the back. The one with no legs. Yeah. Looks like he's had a bit of a rough trot, eh? Yeah. Is that the one we wanted to measure? Yeah, I think so. And there's another one in there, possibly. That one can go. <clears throat> yeah, that one looks alright from here. Yep, he's good. Yo, he's had a rough drop, mate. He has. <clears throat> he's not doing that, that well. Just check him, I think he might be a floater. See that? How yeah, I could squish him in? He's empty. Oh, no good keeping that. You're better off just letting it go, poor thing. Come back in a week. See, he's floating, all the bubbles. He's struggling to get down. Yeah. Just because he's legal doesn't mean you got to eat him. No point, there's nothing to eat. Nah, no mate, don't waste your time. Love that bucket. You get them from RTM, if anyone's curious. We got one at Domain in Townsville, for any locals. To the Crab Superhighway please sir. Radio. Righto, lucky last. Let's see if our prediction about the Crab Super Highway up on the flats thing is right or not. Like if you're a crab, you would use that. I would. We got a stick too, mate. It's a nice stick. You just gotta move that to the next person, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, son. It is correct. You make the call. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crabs. That one should be a keeper. Yep, I reckon we were right, mate. The old crab super highway. King of the Bruce. None of them. Oh, here's the measure. Before we just dump them. That's the one we want up the back there. No. 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 Ooh, you can see in the shadow. No. You're lucky, boys. What's the crab? No keepers. Well, there you go, boys and girls. Two muddies. Not what we hoped for, but it'll make a good poo. See you on the next one. Oh, don't forget, the website is stocked up. We've got um, got an order of fishing shirts and stuff coming in. If you missed out on the pre-order, we did order some extras just for stock, so jump on. We got knives, crab measures, pot spreaders, all sorts of cool shit, plus hats. We got new hats coming. Brand new fishing shirt coming. I'll show you a photo here. And this will only be for the people who watched all the way to the end. So if you did, cheers. That's what it looks like. Haven't got a sample yet, but coming soon.
Cheers. Stay hydrated. We'll see you on the next one.